This is the man who's never wrong here. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and check out my other ones. What I'm going to talk about is the biggest question that I hear ever since the Newtown shooting. Why do you need an assault rifle? Why do you need a gun that can hold 30 rounds and fire a thousand rounds in a minute? For them, <clears throat> And they're not all ignorant, they're not all stupid. Some of them that think that are, but a lot of them aren't. And I will explain why. For those people, they think that you would only need a gun for, say, protection from a home invasion, or if you're walking down the street and... Well, I was about to say in a big city where there's a lot of crime, but in a lot of big cities you can't. Again, that's a tale for another video, but... For them, they think that would be the only reason that you would need a gun at all. And obviously for something like that, generally you won't need a gun that can hold 30 rounds. I will admit that, generally. However, that's not why we need assault rifles. It's not for those things. What we need assault rifles, why we need these rights, is A, protection from foreign invaders, and B, protection from the government itself. That is why we have those rights. That is why the Founding Fathers wrote them into the Constitution. It was so we... Mainly, it wasn't even just for foreign invaders. It wasn't just so we could go hunting. It was so that we could defend ourselves in case a tyrannical regime took over the government. That's what it's for. The government doesn't want us to have assault rifles. Does that mean that they're planning on becoming tyrannical? Well, even more tyrannical to a point where it's completely unacceptable? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that they would want us to have to rely on them at all times to not be able to rely on yourself. Hell, you can get put on a terrorist watch, watch list if you have more than three days supply of food in your house. I shit you not. I already probably am on a terrorist watch, watch list because I am a gun owner. Not that I've ever considered or done anything illegal with it, but that's just the way it is. Not that it would even be considered you're going to do something illegal if you have a three-day supply of food. But I digress. They would make you think that to take away assault rifles would not be an attack on the Second Amendment. That it's just a simple regulation because there's no use for guns such as that. That they have no place. They'll also tell you that they have no place in our streets. But if they keep them legal, they will not be on the streets. They will be in the hands of legal gun owners, responsible, law-abiding citizens. It's a complete asinine, back words statement, as it is, because 95, either 95 or 98 percent of crimes are not committed with an assault rifle. Hell, while I'm at it, 95, 98 percent of crimes aren't even committed with a legally owned weapon. So you might as well make us, make it legal to own fully automatic weapons. And I serious about that it's to say it goes for the same thing although assault rifles are much more important than fully automatic rifles they would have you think that like i said it's not a direct attack that it's not technically stripping us of our arms when in reality it might as well because you know if feinstein's gun control act for her assault rifles ban were to go through I would be able to own a bolt-action rifle and a revolver. I wouldn't be able to own any pistol with a detachable magazine. I wouldn't be able to own any gun, period, with a detachable magazine, or any gun, period, that holds more than 10 rounds. Even if it's a gun from the 1800s that's a lever action, with her assault rifle ban, that would be illegal because some of them hold more than 10 rounds. So how am I supposed to be able to defend myself from, say, if a tyrannical regime were to take over the government? How would I supposed to be able to defend myself with a bolt-action rifle when they have M4s or AK-47s or something like that? You tell me. You want me to throw rocks at them? Because I don't think that's going to work too well. An assault rifle's ban is just as severe as taking away our Second Amendment right altogether. We need these weapons. They are just as important to us as the Constitution in itself. And I'm not the one who said that. George Washington did. 
you know, the only the founder of the country. Pretty important character. So if you don't want to take my word for it, take his word for it. But then there's also the, speaking of that, there's also the popular rebuttal. Well, when the founding fathers wrote the Constitution, they didn't know that there would be guns like there are today or nuclear bombs or anything like that. And you're absolutely right. They didn't know that. But they also didn't know if the government would become tyrannical or not. And you know what? It hasn't come to the point, like I said, I'm not advocating any uprising. It hasn't come to that point, and it's really not too close to that either. But the government is becoming increasingly tyrannical, and it's becoming to the point where I do not trust them with my life. I do not trust them with that. And neither should you. Neither should anyone. You should be able to trust your life in yourself. Because when it comes down to it, in the very end, that may be all you can entrust your life to. And if you don't have assault rifles, and the worst happens, you know, you're relying on somebody to help you and they can't. What are you going to do? Come crawling to people like me? Well, if you, didn't, if you weren't against the Second Amendment, then yeah, I'll help you. If not, you can find somebody else. So, just basically put, assault rifles are as important in themselves as the entire Second Amendment is. We need these guns. Again, make sure if you like this video, subscribe and check out my other ones.